Hi, my cotton candy cupcakes. Welcome to my Pink Sparkly channel. This is Pink Sparkly Cupcake Girl. And today I want to share with you a little bit of a day in the life and share some of our Valentine's Day footage with you guys. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna share the rest of my Valentine's gifts from my family this year. So if you're interested in seeing some pink cutesy girly goodness, make sure to stick around to the end of this video. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending time with me. I truly appreciate it. I hope everyone's doing well. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this. So grab a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, these are the cotton candy pink roses that my honey surprised me with on Valentine's Day morning. I woke up to these beauties. They are the perfect shade of cotton candy pink. They are so beautiful. I absolutely love them. He got me two dozen. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And um, we took one of the roses and put it out on our little sweet doggy's grave. I like to lay little roses on his grave um, on special occasions. And of course we bought him Valentine's gifts as well and decorated and everything for him. But I did put one of my roses out there for him. And here's just a little close up of how beautiful they are. Some of them are cotton candy pink and then some of them are like a bubblegum pink. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I love them so much. <laughs> and then every Valentine's Day, we invite my mama and daddy over for uh, dinner. My honey always cooks a delicious meal. I think I shared our, um, our Valentine's meal with you guys last year. But here's our table setting for Valentine's Day. Of course, love <laughs> was in the air. <laughs> and I have my adorably sweet little Valentine gnomes in the center of the table. They're so cute. And some pink roses with some red and pink sparkly hearts. <laughs> and I love this little gnome right here. He's got a little balloon. <laughs> little heart-shaped balloon behind his back. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And of course, everything was by candlelight. <laughs> and here's our dinner plates and salad plates. We had Valentine napkins and our red goblets. And I have my new Valentine's tablecloth and placemats that I shared with you guys in a haul a while back and everything was just so beautiful I love candlelight dinners especially with the four people that I adore more than anything on this planet <laughs> my sweet parents my honey and our adorably sweet son. I just love them all so much. And then here's the gourmet salad that my honey made. It has fried goat cheese in the middle, fresh strawberries, walnuts, and a raspberry walnut vinaigrette salad dressing. So delicious. And here's our Valentine's meal. He made fettuccine noodles and a delicious Parmesan cheese creamy Alfredo sauce made from scratch. <laughs> Here's my Valentine's Boyd's Bears that I shared with you all in part one that he gifted to me for Valentine's. One of my pink roses. <laughs> Another candle, more fettuccine noodles, 
And then he fixed some grilled asparagus and grilled shrimp and peas to go in the fettuccine alfredo. So delicious. Some um, buttered garlic bread. And of course, he fixed everything in our Valentine's cookware. So festive, so fun, <laughs> and it was so delicious. <laughs> and then here's one of my Valentine's Day cakes. I had one of my Romantic Homes magazines out for decor because it has all the beautiful pink cupcakes <laughs> on the front. And my honey actually had this cake made for me at a specialty bakery. And it's actually called a mini Victorian Valentine's cake. And it was just so beautiful and it was so delicious I can't tell you how fresh the icing and the, the cake and everything about it it was almond flavored cake oh, it was so so good and I just love the icing on it I think it's absolutely beautiful and then my honey made chocolate dipped strawberries he had white chocolate dipped with chocolate drizzle. Hello, my cotton candy cupcakes. <laughs> and then he had like dark chocolate dipped with the white drizzle, like this one. They were so, so good. <laughs> And he had them on a beautiful pink heart plate. And then here's my other Valentine's Day cake. This one was from my mama and daddy. It was so beautiful as well. It had all these bubblegum pink roses. With a big pink heart in the middle. And then the little pink heart rings. Oh, it was beautiful. And it was so delicious as well. <laughs> and here's my Valentine's Day cakes together. My cotton candy pink Victorian cake. And my bubblegum pink rose cake. They were so delicious and absolutely gorgeous. I honestly didn't even want to cut them <laughs> because they were so beautiful. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were just too pretty to eat. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we did because they were delicious, but I just didn't want to cut into them because they were just so pretty and pink and girly, <laughs> but we did <laughs> and we all enjoyed them. <laughs> and then I was so happy that my honey surprised me with another one of the literary book club uh, boxes. Um, I think this is my sixth one that he's gifted me. I shared the very first one with you all, and then um, he got me two more after that, which were just like regular ones. They weren't like a holiday edition. And then he got me one for Halloween and one for Christmas, and then this one for Valentine's. So, um, like I said, this is my sixth one, and I need to share the other ones with you all because they're just really amazing. And if you haven't ever like subscribe to something like this I highly recommend it because it's so much fun getting the box and then you know you get the book to read and then it has all the little things 
like little surprises in the box that you open, you know, as you go along reading the book. And this one is a beautiful Barbie pink color. Look at the front of it. It's absolutely gorgeous with the Victorian lady kind of cameo silhouette there in the middle. And here's what it looks like inside. Of course, I haven't opened anything because I haven't started reading it yet because I just got it. <laughs> but um, I've gotten everything out. Everything's usually like stuffed down in the shaving. So it's kind of all hidden like a little treasure. It's like down in it. But I've put everything up here on top for you all to see. And um, it's like I said, it's just so much fun uh, opening these and... It's like a little treasure as you go along <laughs> reading the book. You get a new little prize. And here, um, just in case you're interested in this, I don't want to give anything away. I'm not going to show you what is in the boxes in case you want to order this. But it does give a little checklist here of everything that comes in your box. So you can you know, make sure everything is there. And then um, everything is packaged so beautifully. And it always comes with a little letter. And look at this wax seal. And that's so beautiful. I actually have a wax seal. So when I send out cards and letters, I do this um, to, to my cards and letters when I send them out to people because that's what they did in the Victorian era. And I just absolutely love it. But I thought this was so cute. It was so beautiful, and um, my mama got me my wax seal from Victorian Trading Company. I shared it with you all in a haul, um, I don't know, a year or two ago, but I just love doing that. <laughs> it just is so classic, but um, they always send one, a little letter or a card with the wax seal, and I have already opened it just so it would be easier for me to <laughs> get to in the video. Okay, I haven't read it yet. I just opened it <laughs> so it would be easier for me to get to for the video. And it says, The Selected Poems of Emily Dickinson. Oh, that's perfect for a Valentine's box. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. I love Emily Dickinson. So I already have one of um, one book of her poems, so I'm just really excited about this. <laughs> And each one usually comes with an 8x10 uh, like picture or something like this that you can frame. And this one says, Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. By Emily Dickinson. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not going to open everything in here. Like I said, in case you're interested in ordering this, I don't want to spoil anything, <laughs> but they usually have a little sleeve here and it usually has a bookmark in it. So, you know, you can have a bookmark for, um, as you're reading the book and this one. Okay. It looks exactly like, uh, the print that I just showed you. So here's the bookmark to use as I read the book. And I just absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous. And it did come with a little, it said just a, a surprise for you. And I think this is a little, it says thank you on it. It's a little hair scrunchy. <laughs> so you can tie your hair up when you snuggle down to read uh, Emily's poems. <laughs> And then it has all these little treasures here. This one is uh, While You Read. And it's in this gorgeous little heart-shaped box with little lace print on the front. So anytime while you're reading, you can open that one and see what it is. And then this one in this beautiful rose drawstring bag is open after reading one poem. So... After you read one poem, you get a little prize. <laughs> and then this one is an actual box. And it's heavy. And it has the same beautiful uh, cameo silhouette. 
and that one's to read after two poems and then this box with the beautiful roses is to open after reading three poems so you gotta while you read after one after two and after three poems and then here's the book look at this the selected poems of Emily Dickinson look how gorgeous it's a hardback book very nice quality So beautiful. And if you notice the bookmark, um, the flowers on the bookmark matches the cover of the book. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy this so much. I absolutely love these. I highly recommend, like I said, if you have never had one of these it's and you enjoy reading, it's just so much fun. <laughs> And they do have, like I said, just like normal months, but then they do have specialty ones for like the holidays. Like the one he got me for Halloween was the box was black and everything in it was kind of spooky and it was a scary story. And then the one for Christmas is like the box was red and it was a Christmas book and everything that went along, you know, went along with it was you know, themed for the holiday. And I did forget to mention that in the little sleeve, it does have a matching sticker. So I will really enjoy this gift because like I said on my community page a few days ago, I try to romanticize my life on every level. I truly do. I try to make everything, even the smallest of things in life special because life is short and it's really important to me to make my surroundings beautiful and peaceful and to spend quality time with my loved ones and just to make my life as lovely as possible. I enjoy things like um, watching classic movies and listening to romantic music. I enjoy reading classic literature and poetry. You know, we always have lit candles all throughout our home for both, you know, the pleasing smell and the coziness of the soft light. I enjoy taking rose petal baths and throwing tea parties and writing love letters and sending cards, taking nature walks and adventures. <laughs> We always dine by candlelight. Uh, we take lots of romantic getaways. Y'all know I've shared a few of those here on my channel with you. And we just spend a lot of our, you know, our time outdoors. We love stargazing <laughs> and moon gazing. I love the moon. We love to watch the sunrise and sunset. And I decorate our home in a romantic Victorian style. We enjoy eating at cozy restaurants and going to quaint little coffee shops. You know how much we love our tea time together early in the mornings and late at night. So I just encourage you to romanticize your life on whatever level you know you feel comfortable if you enjoy these type of things. It does help you relax and it helps you just kind of live at a slower pace and just to appreciate the beauty and the blessings that you know surround us every day. So this will be the perfect fit <laughs> for all those things here um, at Magnolia Place. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share the rest of the things that I got for Valentine's Day this year. And I got this really pretty lip gloss and lip liner set by Paris Hilton. I'll zoom in here so you can see the colors. The packaging is beautiful. I love the gold hearts on top of the lip gloss. there's like a red and then kind of a mauvey color and then like a cotton candy pink and then they have the matching lip liners to go with them aren't those beautiful i love paris hilton anything <laughs> everything she makes i think is just so pretty and girly and it looks like this came from Ross and then I got a Barbie Pez dispenser <laughs> so cute and it came with strawberry cherry and grape Pez candies and I do collect Pez dispensers I've collected them for several years and I didn't even know they had a Barbie one <laughs> 
So I will add her to my collection. She's really pretty. And I think on the back it shows the other ones that are in this little Barbie collection. So it looks like there's four total. So I'll have to be on the lookout for those. <laughs> so she's really cute. And then I got this Paris Hilton um, lippy set. And it's called Perfect Pout. And it comes with the lip liner, the um, liquid lipstick, the matte liquid lipstick, and then the lip gloss. And the lids are pink and sparkly. <laughs> so I love this one too. Like I said, you can't go wrong when it's Paris Hilton. <laughs> and it looks like this one also came from Ross. And then I got this six pack of beauty razors and I like to use these smaller ones for my eyebrows and I really love these because they have the little roses on them, the smaller ones. I don't really use these, the big ones. I just like to use these little teeny tiny ones, but I love the rose pattern on them. And it looks like they also came from Ross. There's a picture of all six of them. That's pretty. I love the colors. <laughs> and then I shared a shorts video of this. I got this adorably sweet Valentine's Day ice cream marker pen. <laughs> it is so cute. It looks like it came from Walmart. And each of the little um, ice cream scoops um, is a different marker <laughs> in the little waffle cone. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? got green cotton candy blue yellow and Barbie pink ice cream <laughs> and then I got these really cute Minnie Mouse tennis shoes they're so adorable they're red with white polka dots and then it has Minnie's face <laughs> on the um, they were $25 that looks like a Walmart tag I'm not really sure but it's got Minnie Mouse's face on the side of the tennis shoe <laughs> cute there's the other one and she's got her big red bow with the white polka dots to match the pattern on the tennis shoe <laughs> I love these I think these will be super cute for summer <laughs> and then I got a uh, Barbie t-shirt black Barbie t-shirt it says Barbie in pink and I have a lot of Barbie t-shirts but I didn't have a black one so I think all the ones I have, like the t-shirt itself, I think they're all pink. So I like the black and pink um, combo. So I got that. I'm not sure where it's from. And then I got this little lip gloss. I love the little um, Valentine packaging. And it says it has confetti hearts on the inside of the gloss. I'll zoom in here. It does. You can see the little confettis in there. They're shaped like hearts. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I like that. Very, very cute. So I got a lot of lippies. <laughs> and then I got these little cinnamon, um, like cracker, like snack crackers. Um, they taste like Scooby Snacks is what they remind me of. But they're by Good to Grow. And look at this container. <laughs> the head of it pops back and it's poppy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so cute. Look at her little head. <laughs> and look how cute the little crackers are. Like little smiley faces. But I've already... Uh, had a few of these and like I said they taste just like Scooby Snacks they're delicious so when this is empty I'm going to keep this container and then I'm just going to fill it back up with more snacks <laughs> because I just love this little pop top poppy <laughs> so sweet and then I shared a shorts video of this my new um spring blanket it's very plushy it was from Ross and it has beautiful pink roses and flowers blue flowers all over 
It's just very springy, looks Victorian to me, of course, with the pink roses, very shabby chic looking. It's very soft and plushy. And y'all know how much I love my blankets. <laughs> I think somebody left a comment on one of my, I get a lot of, you know, hate comments. Well, not a lot, but I get a few hate comments on my um, videos and posts sometimes. And somebody said, how many blankets can you possibly have? <laughs> so, well, obviously never enough because I'm always buying them and I'm always getting them as gifts. <laughs> so don't you worry about it. I'm going to stay warm and cozy. So you do your thing and I'll do mine. <laughs> So anyway, I got this little um, cosmetic bag. It's so cute. Look at the little heart zipper pull. It's clear and it's um, cotton candy pink around the edges. And then it has pink sparkly little trim. And it says stuff <laughs> in very sparkly letters. And look here. It has a pink sparkly cupcake with a pink heart cherry on top and little baby pearl sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect for me. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. It's so sparkly. I love the cotton candy strap little handle. There's the tag. It's the OMG brand. I have a lot of things um, in this brand, but I just love this. So I can't wait to fill it with cuteness and share it with you guys. <laughs> I just love that cupcake. Absolutely love it. And I love that the um, main part of the front of the bag is clear. So that way when I have all my cutesy stuff in it, you can see through and see all the pink, pastel, cutesy, girly goodness <laughs> on the inside. And that goat cake is just perfect. So this will be for my stuff. <laughs> and here's the tag for it. Looks like it came from maybe Home Goods. I think. And then I shared a shorts video of my new perfume. I love this perfume. I uh, absolutely love, love, love it. It truly smells like bubble gum. <laughs> I mean, it smells exactly like it. It's a true, true bubble gum scent. And of course, I love the packaging. He looks like a little bubble gum pink um, gummy bear. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. So the packaging is just too, too cute. And like I said, it has a true, true bubblegum scent to it. So if you like sweet, you know, like cotton candy or bubblegum cupcake smells, you will love this because it truly does smell like a big old piece of bubblegum. <laughs> and the packaging is too cute. Look at those little paws. <laughs> I love it. So, so cute. So I got that. And then I got these. Um, these are rose shaped ice cube, like a little ice cube tray. And it um, makes four large uh, rose shaped ice cubes. So I can't wait to use this. Y'all know how much I love ice. <laughs> I've shared with you all. Uh, pictures of you know when we go out to eat I'm always the one that's like I want ice water with extra cup of ice <laughs> on the side so um, and I love cutesy ice and I think this will be so beautiful especially with my home y'all know how much you know I decorate with roses and things like that so this will be so beautiful you know when I'm giving my parties or having a tea party or just for myself or me and my honey for a romantic dinner and it'll just be beautiful so so glad I got rose shaped <laughs> ice cubes <laughs> little ice cube tray to make my beautiful ice cubes and then also in the rose theme I got some more of the rose oil body lotion I've had this before I absolutely love it, it has a true rose scent and the rose oil lotion is divine. <laughs> it's so soft and makes your skin really soft and I just absolutely love it. And this came from Burlington. I can tell by the tag and I've had this before. So, and it was a perfect timing because I think I was, I'm at the very bottom 
of the bottle um, that I have. So glad to get more of this lotion. And I love this bottle. It's like a Barbie pink. You can't really tell because the lotion's white, but the bottle is a beautiful, bright, bright Barbie pink. And like I said, the lotion is wonderful. And then I also got this lotion, Collagen and Shea Firming and Tightening Body Lotion. And it smells so good. As you can see, it's in Cocoa Rose. Beautiful packaging with the cotton candy and bubblegum pink. And it smells so nice. And it is very, very moisturizing. I absolutely love this. I've never had this one before. But um, I've been using it since I got it. And... I highly recommend it if you see it. It looks like it came from Burlington as well. So if you see it, I highly recommend that you pick it up because <laughs> it is really nice. And then this was in my Valentine's basket as well. A little 12-piece um, set of just throwaway, you know, silverware. Like, uh, it's like plasticware. And it's I love it because the, the handles are pink. <laughs> And this is a little bit better quality than just like your normal plastic forks and spoons and stuff. They are a little more sturdy, but I mean, I st you can still throw them away. They're, I mean, you know, disposable, but they're just a little bit better quality. And I love to, if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to wash dishes or anything, I'll just use these and then throw them away. <laughs> and then I got a poppy towel and washcloth set. It's so cute. Y'all know how much I love poppy one of my favorite little movies and there she is with her sister <laughs> so cute and it is a little like bath towel and washcloth set <laughs> and I love cutesy little towels and then I shared a shorts video of this as well I got this really pretty um it's a soap dispenser of Hello Kitty, but look at her little outfit. She's got her candy um, crossbody purse, and she's got on a little pink dress, and look, it's like trimmed in lace. <laughs> How cute is that? With her little pink bow on her dress and her big pink bow on her ear, <laughs> and it's got little pink um, hearts and star. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I love it. I'm probably not going to put um, soap in it. I think I'm going to put lotion in it. it. Looks like it was $15. I think that's a home goods tag. But I'm going to fill it up with lotion. So I use it as a lotion dispenser. And my honey bought himself a 3D printer. And he has been loving it. <laughs> he has been making any and everything you can possibly think of on his new 3D printer. So he made me these three little things for Valentine's Day. Uh, he had he'd, he'd just gotten it, so he was, you know, just starting out. And he made me this pink Victorian man and woman with the heart. And then this pink rose little teddy bear. I have one of the big, you know, teddy bears that's made out of the little pink roses that I shared with you all uh, couple of years ago that he got me and then he made me this little white cupid <laughs> look how cute it is <laughs> so he is a boy with a new toy I'm here to tell you he loves his new 3d printer so he's been making all kinds of things but he made me these three little things for Valentine's Day they're just absolutely precious <laughs> Okay, and that's going to do it for my Valentine series for 2024. I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing the gifts that I got from my sweet family this year. And uh, I shared a lot of my pre-Valentine's gifts in some of my most recent uploaded videos. So if you're interested in seeing any of those, check them out. And I also have a video before this one where I shared uh, more of my Valentine gifts. So... If you're interested in seeing those pink cutesy girly goodies, check that one out. And I also shared the Valentine's Spa Day that my mama had for us um, 
the weekend before Valentine's. So check that out if you are interested. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. I truly appreciate it. We're moving into Easter season and my birthday season. So I'm so excited about it. So again, thanks so much for stopping by. I love you guys so much. And until next time, stay sweet, stay pink, take care, and God bless. And remember, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Bye for now.